Ann Yorks from Flower Box, and I'm excited to be bringing to you another cookie decorating video. Today we're going to make Easter cookies, and the Easter decorating season is so much fun. Easter cookies make great hostess gifts, they're fun treats um, at an Easter brunch, and of course they're great to put in Easter baskets. So today I'm going to show you five designs. We're going to do a bunny face, a really cute but easy carrot, a very whimsical Easter basket, and then I'm gonna stencil two Easter eggs um, just to show you how to create some quick and easy Easter cookies. Also, uh, in the status, you'll find a link to the blog post to go with this video, and there's gonna be extra tips in that blog post on what the yield would be for a batch of cookies, how much icing to plan, some packaging tips. So check out that link below and uh, get some extra information on how to make these cookies. All right, are you guys ready to decorate? Come on, let's get started. I have tip number two on my icing bag and I'm going to outline around the edge of the cookie. Then I have my flood icing in a tipless bag and I'm gonna just outline again around the edge of the cookie. I want a white border in that ear area and then I wanna flood in the full face all white. Now this is more like a wet on wet, so while that white's still wet, I'm gonna go in and add the pink of the ear. And I'll just fix any areas and reshape. You can even go back in with a little bit of white flood if you need to reshape any of those areas. Now my hole on my tipless bag is cut really small, so I'm gonna use it for those little mini dots on the ears and usually I'll count. So in this case, about six or seven dots down the center and then five on each side. After that has a chance to dry, I'm ready for the details. And I'm using this tip number 65S to add this cute, quick bow on the ears. It's actually a mini leaf tip, but it just so happens to make the perfect bows on bunnies as well. And I'm gonna pipe two teardrops for the nose. I'm just matching up the tails of each teardrop to create the heart shape. And now I have an ultra thin black marker and I allowed that face to dry for at least four to six hours before using a marker on the surface. You just don't wanna poke the tip of that marker through the bunny's face. I switched tips on my blue icing bag to number two for the center of the bow, and I have a tip number one on my black icing so that I can pipe those small details, and then using that ultra thin marker, add the eyelashes for the final detail on this cute bunny face. This bunny face is so cute and perfect with any Easter cookie collection. And what goes great with bunnies, but of course, cute, whimsical carrots. I have my pastel orange in my icing bag with a tip number two, and I'm just gonna outline each section because I want this carrot to have kind of a bumpy look to it. And so in order to create that look, I'm gonna flood in alternating icing areas, and I'm just gonna let those areas dry for about an hour in front of the fan. Then I'll come back and flood in in the areas that are still remaining. This creates that really pretty definition line between those carrot sections. Now you can see that I've done this carrot in a couple ways. You don't have to put sections for the top leaves. You can do that all as one flood. And then on the right, no flooding, just loops, and it looks super cute. It's definitely really easy. This is the accent cookie in this set. We're just gonna pipe a couple lines to finish off this cookie, but this one's meant to be quick, cute, and ready to go. Here is the Easter basket. First, I'm gonna outline that white section, which is a piece of fabric that's overlapping on the basket. Then I just need to add the outlines for the base and the handle. When I'm piping these eggs, I just start from the center of the basket and work my way out for each egg and pipe the yellow egg in the background. Now I'm ready to flood. I have the blue icing in a tipless bag ready to go. I'll flood the handle and the base of the basket first. And because the yellow egg, which is in the background, isn't 
touching any of the blue areas, it's okay to flood that at this time too. Now I'll flood in each of the eggs and I'll allow 20 to 30 minutes of drying time for each egg. That just gives nice definition between those areas. Now for the final flood, it's that white section, which is a piece of fabric that's folded down over the basket. And to create a little whimsical and also match with our Easter Bunny, we're gonna add some cute little pink polka dots with our tipless bag. Once those areas are all dry, I'll go back and pipe our outlines. I'll also add a cute heart to the base of the basket. Then a few quick details to the eggs and our Easter basket is complete. That is so cute. For our last two projects, I'm gonna show you two stenciled cookies and these always make for quick work. So for this Happy Easter Bunny, I'm starting with a base layer that has some wet on wet yellow polka dots on it. I squeezed out piping icing onto my scraper and then I gently wipe it across the stencil to cover it evenly. I wanna make sure I remove any excess. That means I'll be able to reuse the stencil a couple more times and make more eggs. Once I'm ready to go, I'll gently peel back that stencil like a sticker and I'll add a piped outline just to finish off that cookie. Let me show you one of my favorite Easter designs. This Fair Isle Easter stencil is so impressive. It's definitely something I would never want to pipe, but the stencil makes it super easy. So again, just generously applying icing across the stencil. I'm gonna peel the stencil back to reveal the pattern, and you'll see the icing ooze just a little bit on the side where the cookie edge ends. So I'm going back in with my boo-boo tool, and I'm just cleaning up with the flat end any of that excess icing. This Easter egg looks really nice just like this, but if you want to take it to the next level, we'll add a little bit more color pop and using the stencil as a guide, pipe some little accents. So we have a couple hearts on the bunnies. I'm gonna add some lines on the Easter eggs and I didn't bother switching tips. I'm just using my tip number two to pipe these details. It works just fine. I'll pipe a line through, just using the stencil as a guide. And we're just about done. I'm gonna add one more pop of color with my yellow icing. That looks great. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful as you get started with your Easter cookies, but feel free to post questions and comments down below. I'll check back often and make sure I answer anything that you might have. Also, don't forget to check out that blog post just to get your planning of the project off to the right start. I would love it if you recreated these cookies. So if you do, please tag Flower Box Bakery on social media. I'd love to see what you come up with. Also to make that a little bit easier, we've put together an Easter cookie decorating kit. You can check that out. There's a link to it in the status below as well. So as you get started with your Easter cookies, I hope you have lots of fun. Happy Easter and happy decorating.